John's became important for me when I was in graduate school, actually, and I saw my first pop art show because John's is considered a precursor to the pop artist. John's most famous painting is the flag painting, the American flag. He was one of the first artists to take just ordinary thing and turn it into a painting, something that you're used to looking at every day. The thing that's really wonderful about John's is how simple and basic he keeps things. He likes primary colors. The primaries are the reds, the blues, and the yellows. Keeps it very basic, and he makes a lot out of a little. You feel like a lot is going on, and then when you go up to it, you see, oh, he's just really basically used three or four colors here. But you feel like you're getting a lot more. So I guess you could say he gets a lot of bang for his buck. This painting, Between the Clock and the Bed, which is stripes, all these striations are cross hatchings, which is a way of putting marks down that he invented really, um, is influenced by the Edvard Munch, a favorite artist of John's, who did a painting also called Between the Clock and the Bed. It shows Munch standing between his a clock and a bed. Um, and this painting is a wonderful, I think, interpretation of those images. There's no clock and there's no bed, but the orange shape that you see emerging from the center, I think, signifies the image of the figure. And you also see that there's a seam down the center here. He's made, this is a triptych. There, these are three panels. So I'm not sure if he started this with one panel and then thought, mm, I need more space and added another two panels, or if he had the three panels together in the very beginning. But when you get up close, you see how he deals with the transition of one, two, and then the third panel.